This video will explain how to get two-factor authentication and other things set up on your account so that you can start trading again in Rocket League. This will be a really quick video because I know so many of you are struggling with this, so I just want to get this video out as soon as possible. Here are the three requirements to start trading again. The first one is that your email address on your Epic account must be verified. The second one is that you must have two-factor authentication enabled on your Epic account. And the third one is that your Epic account must be a full account, not a platform account. Okay, let's go through them one by one. So the first one, verifying your email address. This should be pretty simple. Just follow these instructions here. So log in to your Epic Games account. Here's the Epic Games website here. In the yellow notification at the top of the screen, click, click here to resend. Then in your email inbox, find the email from Epic, open it and click verify your email. Check your spam inbox or promotions tab in Gmail account if you can't find the email. Okay, the next step is enabling two-factor authentication on your Epic account. So this is a new requirement for all Rocket League players, no matter what platform you're on. This step is also pretty simple. Just log into your Epic account, go to password and security, and then just choose which of the three methods you want to use. You can use all of them, two of them, or just one of them. I'll go with email authentication because it's probably the easiest one for me to show you. Click the button on the method you want to use. Then you'll get an email in your email inbox. Find the code, then go back to the website, enter the code, click continue, and you're done. Then you should get an email in your email inbox confirming that two-factor authentication has been enabled. Okay, just before we get into the last one, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you do. I make a lot of videos about Rocket League, including videos like this on problem areas of the game that might be confusing to a lot of players. So if you do think you might need help with Rocket League in the future, then make sure you subscribe for those videos. I also do tutorials about Rocket League, how to be better as a player, how to get better skills and be a better teammate. So make sure you sub for those videos as well. Okay, this last step will only apply to some people. So let's read this information here. With the free to play release of Rocket League, players were given the opportunity to create an Epic Games account without an email address or password. Some features in Rocket League, like trading, require a full Epic Games account. Okay, so if you were one of the players who created an Epic Games account, without using an email address or password, this part is for you. So I haven't done this myself, so we'll just have to read it straight from the website. So to upgrade to a full Epic Games account, follow these steps. Go to the Epic Games website, ensure that you're signed out. So log out if you have to. Then click on sign in at the top right of the screen. Click on the platform icon that you currently play on and want to connect to an Epic Games account. So this should be the platform that you usually play Rocket League on. So if you're a PS4 player, click the PlayStation icon. Or if you're a Nintendo Switch player, click the Switch icon. And then log into that account. And then you'll be taken to a website for the platform that you selected. Sign in to the account that you usually play on. Then you'll be returned to the Epic Games site and you should see the following screen. Then just complete all of the fields and click Create Account. If you don't see this screen or you're having any trouble, then keep watching. So this information here says, if you don't see the page shown here, then you don't have any Rocket League progression on this account. So that means you entered the wrong login details. So you need to go back and enter the details for the account that you usually play Rocket League on. 
And then the next step says, make sure that the email address that you're using is not already connected to another Epic Games account. All right, I hope that was helpful to you guys. If it was, please give the video a like. If it wasn't, a dislike, and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as a whole bunch of other Rocket League content. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.